Hispanic Heritage Month, and we are kind of wrapping up the month here at this beautiful art gallery. It is here, the Art of the World Gallery. And I'm gonna walk through some pieces because we have some Hispanic artists we're gonna be showing off, but take a look at this. One of these is a piece of art, and one of these is a real person. Any guesses? Oh, it's not like a, <laughs> but this is, uh, we walk in, and Rebecca, this is amazing. This is an actual piece of art that you can come it see is. here in River Oaks at the Art of the World Gallery. So this artist is Marc Sejan. He's a Serbian-American artist, and he's about 74 years old. He's been in pretty much all of the important museums around the world, and his work is incredible. So definitely shows off your age spots as well. <laughs> I mean, the details, it's amazing, as is every other piece in here. And Rebecca Rios, you've been here as an art advisor for quite some time, and you're going to show us around. Today, we are featuring Lita Cabellut. I worked on practicing her name. Yes. So we can learn about some of her <laughs> notorious pieces. Can you tell everybody what she's most famous for? So Lita Cabellut is a Spanish contemporary artist. She's known for the effects of the crapular. So you'll be able to see all of her sort of stretching and manipulation of the canvas. Basically, to dumb it down, she destroys these pictures and then rebuilds them in Correct. a way she wants people to see them, right? So the title of this exhibition, The Colors that remain is extremely important because every single layer of paint left on there has a meaning and it's there for a reason. A different representation. And you know, when I walked in, I said, does Lita have a specific first piece or her most notorious piece? And she doesn't, it's definitely about the way she does things. So Correct. we wanted to walk over here and just show off the different colors and the different things on this painting. It's so, just- And with this one, you'll see it's a little different. It won't have as much of the deconstruction to it, which she's known for, but she's also very well known for her portraiture. So pretty much every work here will be a portraiture in some shape or form. That's wonderful. So we're gonna walk, this is a 6,500 square foot gallery and everything has been beautiful. You're featuring Lita's pieces and you have some other Hispanic artists in here as well. Correct. So so we feature uh, Fernando Botero, who's the most important Latin American artist alive. He's about 88 years old, very iconic for uh, Colombian culture as well as just Latin American scenery. Um, Jimenez Heredia as well. A lot of Gustavo Vélez, we had a very important public art exhibition right now with uh, him in San Diego. So Julio Larraz, Cuban, Wilfredo Lem, also Cuban. Um, just a lot of artists for you to come and see during uh, oh, this yeah. quarantine. <laughs> Absolutely, and one of the Hispanic faces you may recognize for Lita's pieces is Frida, right? Yes, so. correct. So uh, Lita focuses a lot on people who have similar backgrounds to hers, and Frida Kahlo definitely has sort of that tragic life as well. So with this this piece, you'll get to see Frida's DNA um, in those DNA forms. So very chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> I hear her on the chaotic, that's for sure. But I just want to mention a couple of these pieces right here that kind of all go together. Yeah, so this is a triptych. Um, with this piece, I'll tell you a little bit is the, this is who we are, how people see us. Then we have the DNA that makes us who we are. And eventually the evolutions and the transitions that we go throughout in our lives. Well, you guys are open and inviting people to come in and take a look. All these pieces are for sale. It's wonderful. This is a beautiful gallery. And you're celebrating your four-year anniversary next yes, month. Yes, so. we're very excited. Four years here in the River Oaks area. So it's a perfect time for everyone to just come visit us. And we're also doing a very important partnership with Artica. They're a publishing house in Barcelona. And for every art book sale that we have of Lita and Fernando Botero, we'll be donating $500 to Art League Houston. So wow. it's fantastic. That's wonderful. Well, congratulations on everything. You guys, this is a beautiful exhibit, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to take a look upstairs at some of the other artists. Thank you so much for joining us today, Rebecca. Thank you, you so much. <laughs> for a little more info, HoustonLife.tv. Courtney and uh, Derek, I'm going to go get educated upstairs, too. <laughs> very, very nice. I am blown away, and I still can't believe that man. I mean, he looks completely real. Totally. Very nice, oh, Lauren. right, the security. <laughs> Thanks for that.